Hi, I'm Erin. Hi, I'm Martin. And we're going to talk to you today about different relationships and different behaviours. So we're going to do an activity that you can follow along at home. We're going to use different pictures of people in our community, like you've got the doctor there, we've got some other people in our family, people in our community, and we're going to place those on different rings. And what's on those different rings? So we got kiss, hug, high five, wave, and stranger. Yeah. So there's lots of different interactions here that we're going to talk through that we might do with people in our community and people in our family. So before we start the activity today, there's a couple of things we've got to talk about. So number one, it's important to do activities like this because it can help people learn about different behaviours in different relationships and that can help keep us safe, right? Right, yes. Yeah. It's also important to talk about consent. Martin, do you know what consent is? Consent is talking to the person, answering what, answering question what they ask you. Yeah, yeah. So consent can also mean saying yes or no to something. So if I ask for your consent to give you a high five, yep. if you say no, then I don't have your consent to give you a high five. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's cool. It. So we always need to wait until someone says yes before we touch them. And similarly, people always need to ask you before they can touch you, right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's really, really important that we remember throughout the activity today that consent is really important. And if you're not sure, then what should you do? So if you're not sure, then maybe give a, give a bit of thought to what could be the right answer to the question. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Martin, can you tell us how we're going to play this game today? So we're going to play where we put some, we put some pictures onto the right circle around. All right, who's going first? I'll go first. Excellent. So we have a picture of a, of a doctor and a customer yep. where, where the, the doctor's giving the customer a blood test mm -hmm. and they might ask you a few questions and you answer in the right way you can. Yep. We've also got some pictures of family members and other people in our community. And you can make this at home by using pictures of your own family or, you know, people at your own shops. So you can really personalise it to reflect your own life. Cool. So which ring do you think that the doctor should go on? So the doctor should go on the half five and, and wave. Yep. Great. And why do you think that is? Because it's uh, probably probably a better way to ask him if, if it is okay to give him a high five or, or a high five. Yeah. The answer could be yes or it could be it could be yes, yes you can. Yep. Or no you can't. Yeah. And that's a great point. You should always ask people before touching them, right? Right. Yeah. So if you've got a really good relationship with your doctor and maybe they're giving you some good news, then yeah, maybe a high five would be great. Otherwise, a wave is also good. Okay, my turn. I'm going to pick this very happy pizza delivery guy. So where do you think the pizza delivery guy would go? He should go on the wave and stranger. Awesome. What about a high five? Should I give the pizza guy a high five? If you're really happy with pizza and, it's, <laughs> and it smells good and, yeah. you, and you want to taste good, then why not? <laughs> Maybe. Well, probably I think you are right, though. Maybe a wave. Would we give them a hug or a kiss? No. No, no. That's probably not very safe. We'll also pop him in the stranger circle. Yeah. So can you tell me a bit about strangers? You might see a stranger and they might, they might yell to you, so I know you and you're not too sure if you know them or not. Mm -hmm. So, and then they might give you a wave and you wave back, yeah. but never dis don't, don't ignore them and disrespect, uh, dis disrespect them. Because mm -hmm. one day we might need them and we might have an accident or whatever. That is a really good point, Martin. Sometimes we might need to interact with strangers if we have an accident, if we fall over, even if we need to grab something off a tall shelf. So it's important that we know about strangers. They're really just people in our community that we don't know. Yeah. It's important that we're not afraid of strangers, yeah. but it's also really important that we're not kissing or hugging or high-fiving strangers as well. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay, your right. turn. So we actually go through this picture. 
mm -hmm. where we, we've got a picture of a mother and a son. Great. Now I'm very close. With, I'm very I'm very close when it comes to mothers. Um, yeah. You gotta communicate with them, connect you with them, and try and to talk to them and, res and respect them the best way that you can. Yeah. So, uh, uh, that was a picture. Uh, this was a picture of, of me, and my mum. Yeah. It would, be, it would be pretty close, so. Great, all right, so which circle would you put you and your mum in? So I'd definitely put her in a, in, a, in a kiss and hug. Great, awesome. So, kisses, hugs, that's a really nice thing to do with your parents, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, great, yeah. awesome. And, you know, we can also high five and wave as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Okay. okay, my turn, uh, I'm gonna pick the mailman, or the postie, or the guy from Australia Post. All right, so this is the guy that delivers my mail. And I do a lot of online shopping, so I might see him a lot more than other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pop him in, I think. In the wave? Yeah, yeah, I think he's another wave circle. Yeah. He really is a stranger as well. Even though I see him a lot, I really, I don't know his name, and we I'll don't really I'll talk. A wave and a half five. Oh, he might be zooming past on his motorbike a bit too yeah, fast for me to give him a high five. Um, definitely a wave. Definitely a wave, yeah. yeah. So if I catch him popping some post into the mailbox, I'll give him a wave. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I think, I think he really is a stranger, but he's a person that helps me because he yeah. delivers my mail. Yeah. Yeah. So then in, 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 in this picture, you have two girls where, where they could be very close sisters. Yeah. Best friends or friends. Maybe cousins. Yeah. So who do you want them to be for this activity? So definitely in a hug, high five and wave. Okay, cool. And do you think they're friends or siblings for this one? They could be either, hey? They could be either. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's say definitely that they're... friends. Definitely friends. Good one. Yeah. So let's say that they're friends and you've got them in the hugs, high fives and waves. Is that right? Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, you might... Um, uh, give a friend a hug, you might give them a high five, you might wave at them when you see them. Um, if they're a friend, you might not kiss them, no, unless maybe not. it's a friendship that's blossoming into romance. Yep. Um, but yeah, obviously you ask people before you give them a hug um, and a high five as well. So yeah. next one, this one might be a bit tricky. So I've yeah. got here, who's this? So this one could be uh, a client and a, and a support worker. Yeah, so a client and a support worker. So a support worker is someone that you might spend a lot of time with. You might go out and do social activities, might go out and get something to eat. Yeah. Um, what else might you do with a support worker? Probably working for a couple of hours or mm -hmm. travel, travel all, 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 all around the world. And yeah, yeah, that's right. So you can use a support worker for a lot of different things. Yeah. So um, they might be doing things that a friend might do, like going out to a cafe or yeah. playing sport or something like that. But they might also help you with things like personal care. Yeah. So some people might need a support worker to have a shower or go to yeah. the toilet. So it is important that we do have boundaries with support workers, yeah. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. So that's for safety for both people. So where should we put the support worker on here? So put them as the half five and wave. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So they're not a stranger. We know yeah. them. Um, we don't give them kisses or hugs. Yeah, so they are working, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so support worker is a job. So we'll pop them in the high five and the wave circle. Yeah. You know, we could do other things like maybe a fist bump or yeah. um, things like that. But I yeah. think um, they're definitely not a stranger because no. we see them every day or, yeah. you know, we see them when they're supporting us. Yeah. Um, definitely no kissing. No. A hug might depend on your relationship with the support worker yeah. and the type of support you're receiving. And that can be different for everybody. But generally, yeah. we would say a high five and a wave is pretty good. Yep. Yep. Next one. Looks like your last one, Martin. Yeah. So this one, this picture here yeah. is, a, is, a, is a teacher. Yep. Cool. Where they teach kids and they might be a high school teacher or, public, or, 
of, of preschool teacher or mm -hmm. public school teacher. Yep. Whether talk to us and we can meet with them and, con and, and connect with them. Great. And where do you think the teacher should go? So between a half vibe and a wave. Perfect. All right. Pop him down. Awesome. So, yeah, I think that's good with a teacher um, is that we wouldn't, wouldn't do a hug, definitely not a kiss. They're not a stranger because we yeah. see them every day. Yeah. So something like a high five or a fist bump, if you or the teacher says it's okay, yeah. definitely a wave. Yeah. You can say, good morning, sir, or good morning, miss. Yeah, it's nice. Great. So who do we think this one is? A, a grandfather and a grandson. Yeah, so that looks like grandpa. Lovely. And where do you think they would go? In the high five wave. Yeah. High five and wave, yeah. So this is another one where it might depend on how close you are with your granddad yeah. or your grandparent. So with my grandpa, I would give him a kiss and a hug, but other people might feel more comfortable with a hug and a high five. Some other people might feel comfortable with a high five and a wave. Yeah. So just like the sisters or the cousins or the friends or whoever, depending on the relationship that you have with someone like your grandpa or a family member, you can choose what type of touch you want to have. Yeah. So if you want to have a, a kiss on the cheek, then that's fine. But if you feel more comfortable with a high five, that's okay as well. Yeah. So I might pop them in the middle here. Hey, Alan, can you pass me the last one, please? Yeah, absolutely. Here you go. So who's this guy? Who's that guy? Let me have a look. On his mug, it says that he's the world's best boss. So that looks like it's going to be your boss at your job, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, cool. All right, where do we reckon our boss is going to go? In the half up and wave. Yeah, great. So your boss might give you a high five if you've done a really good job. Yeah. Um, I think definitely when you arrive at work, you might give your boss a bit of a wave and say hello. Yeah. There's one that's not on here as well, and that might be a handshake. So a handshake mm. is something that you might do at work as well. Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right. Do you want to pop him down? Yeah. Great. Awesome job, Martin. Thank you. You too. Thanks. So that's a really quick way of doing the orbit activity. So it's really important when you're doing the orbit activity at home that you're really specific about the different types of relationships in your life. So that's really important because relationships are different for everyone, right? Right. Yeah. So as we talked about with the grandpa, for example, some people might have a closer relationship, some people might not. So it's important to match these to the relationships that you have in your life. So this is a really great activity to talk about all of the different relationships in your life and how they can grow and change, right? So you might have someone that you are becoming closer friends with and as you get to know them more, they might move in from maybe a wave to a hug. Yeah. Or if it's someone that you've had a bit of a disagreement with, yeah. you might move back out to a wave if you're a bit grumpy, right? Yeah. yeah. So talking about the way that different behaviours and relationships can grow and change is really important. And this is also a really great activity for helping your child to learn about consent. So remembering that even if it's a high five or a hug or a kiss, anything that involves touching somebody else, that needs a yes or a no from the other person and from your child. 